Readming and this is a quick video to show you the process and workflow you can follow when you get a new client in the Admin so that you get all your data organized. So essentially, imagine you just got a new client, they contacted you via email or via uh, phone and they want to be your client. So the first thing you can do is to click here on the dashboard on new client and this will allow you to create a record. So I'm just going to call it my new client example and you just need to enter their name and email and then on this screen you will have several options you can follow so you can send them a questionnaire uh, perhaps you have a questionnaire or a variety of questionnaires that you want to send so this could be food diaries consultation agreement introduction food intake etc so you can choose either one of them or you can send multiple so in this case i'm just gonna send multiple so i'm going to send a food diary an intake questionnaire and a um, perhaps a um, consultation agreement terms so you can either send it via as links or via the portal there are these two options in this case i'm just going to send it as links and this is, will take a couple of seconds and it will send the questionnaires to the client and the client will get an email with so all of these questionnaires can be set up in here in the questionnaires and notes section and your branding for the emails can be changed in the settings. Right, so once the client has been uh, sent the questionnaires, you can view the profile and you can go to the status tab and in here you see that these questionnaires have been sent. So you can keep track of whether they returned them or not from here. And now inside this client record, the next thing you can do is to set up an appointment with the client. So in order to set up an appointment, there are two options. Either if you have already agreed with the client on which day you want the appointment to be, then you can click here on calendar and you can add the calendar appointment yourself. So and this, you will have an option to send the client a email confirmation that again, you can configure in the settings. So that's the option when the client already told you which uh, appointment time you want. If the client hasn't booked an appointment yet and you want the client to choose from a variety of options, then there are multiple places to do this. One of them is from the status tab. You can click and send appointment slots. So when you do this, the client will receive your schedule and they will be able to suggest multiple options. So I'm just gonna choose an example. This gives you an example of how the template would look like. And this will show your logo if you configure it on the settings and i'm going to send a link so that's it so whenever the client confirms the appointment you will receive an email notification and you will be able to go to the appointments tab and you will be able to confirm it in here so this will show uh, that there's an appointment pending so overall we have sent some questionnaires to the client and we have sent some appointment finally there are payments so if you want to request a payment, you can simply request client payment from here and you will choose your client from the drop down and you will choose uh, which uh, service. So again, this can be configured in the online payment section. And this will allow the client to pay online for your services. So essentially now we have questionnaires, appointments and payments. So that's typically what you would do before a consultation. Now, once you once it comes time for your consultation then if i go back to my client here essentially uh you will receive data from the client in the questionnaire tab so if you click on this food diary this will be filled in for example and based on the data you ask in the questionnaires and based on the conversation you have with your client during the consultation so that could be in person or via a, a video conferencing app then you can type notes during the consultation. So that's what this private note section is for. So you can click here to customize them and you can have as many fields in the shape you want as you need. And essentially here you will type as you conduct the consultation with the client. Or if you find it easier, you can also write down the notes elsewhere and even in a piece of paper and then transcribe them here. But if you manage to write them directly during the consultation, that will save you time. So let's imagine for this new example client, I'm going to write, I think this client needs more magnesium and vitamin D. And um, if I go to diet recommendations, I'm going to say eat higher protein 
and they need to remove snacks and you can type any notes anthropometric fitness i'm gonna say they are at 85 kilograms so you can type in any data here so this can be as extensive as you need it to be i'm gonna save changes and again you, you can do this for this section and you see there are multiple private notes so you could create a private note called follow up one follow up two etc and if you meet the client a second time you could click here and store the corresponding notes in these other follow-up sections so that would allow you to keep track of notes for every section and every field will tell you when it was last updated so you can keep track of time right now that you have the notes during the consultation then after the consultation when you are on your own what you can do is either to create a report for the client or you can create a meal plan so for reports a report essentially will take all the data that is inside this client record and it will allow you to format it into a document so if i click create new report i'm gonna call this my example report this is for this client that i selected and now i'm gonna say I want all of the private notes categories and if I go to advanced options I'm gonna say I only want this default private note section that I just set up so if I generate this report you see I get the the data that I just saw me typing earlier so I get this recommended nutrients table with magnesium and vitamin D and uh, the dietary recommendations and weight so obviously if you enter dozens and dozens of fields then this report would be much larger and in here you will be able to edit it and you can change it if you need type anything you want and you can also use templates which are on the side so if i want to add a broccoli template here i can just click the button to do it and if i want to add a calcium supplement recommendation table i can do so as well so once you have this report you can share it with the client in the portal or you can download it as a pdf and Finally, another thing you can do with a client is you can create a meal plan. So you can watch off, uh, you can click here, new meal plan. So you can watch one of the meal plan video tutorials if you want to learn more about that. And when it comes time to reschedule an appointment with the same uh, client in the future, you can repeat the process. So you can request another payment, send them questionnaires if required, send appointment slots, and then fill in the data within the follow-up follow notes. Uh, private notes so that's in a, in a nutshell the overall process you would follow with a client from beginning to end you initially request payment or questionnaire or appointment slots whatever is relevant in your case then you receive data from the client inside a questionnaire you can review it and you can then uh, write down private notes during the consultation and finally when your consultation is over you can create a report with the notes or you can create a meal plan and you can add recipes to the meal plan as well. And there are some other extra features that could be useful, but that's the overview. And you can change the notes if you click in questionnaire and notes, you can edit them here. So you can create and remove fields as you need. And if you need to change anything to do with payments or calendar, there are the settings uh, section. And finally, if you have any questions, you can click here to reach out to us and we'll help you out. So hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I uh, hope you find these features useful.